Hello, welcome back to another beer review and in this one we're off to America. We are off to Tampa of all places and we have, um, I don't think I've had a beer from these boys before, we're off to Cigar City Brewing. We have a can of their Reduo Brown Ale, super smashing great, give it a 12, that's 5.5% ABV, around there, there we go. Uh, IBU of 20. There we go. Well, I think this brewery was started in about 2009. Um, I'm actually thinking about I think I did do a beer associated with them, and that was the Tiramisu Stout from Hawks End Brewery. That had something to do with that. Can't remember. That's where I've heard the name before, but can't remember. Anyway, named after a dark cigar wrapper, my duo brown ale. Both notes of semi-sweet chocolate toffee, hints of fresh coffee, complex and full-bodied malt forward ales brewed with flaked oats to add depth of character. Um, yeah, so it's quite a nice looking can. I don't know if you can see little, little drawings on there. So let's crack this open. I'm intrigued. See what we get from the... Yeah, we get a lovely, creamy... Creamy coffee, chocolate notes, definitely chocolate notes from the, lots of chocolate there, milk chocolate from the uh, can. So let's whack her in and see what we get. I've got a feeling I'm going to like this one. There we go. Yeah, so they, they've been producing, I think, since 2009. Um, from, that's fairly new, is it, for brewery? Let us know in the comments, anyway. <laughs> Appearance, quite very dark looking. Um, just put it up to the light. Yeah, it looks like a very, very typical brown owl appearance to it. Hardly any head to her. And again, pretty much chocolate there with a hint of ground coffee and aroma. It smells really nice, boys and girls. I'm gonna go in. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. First, first, it hits here. Very much coffee. Um, freeze dry coffee. You do get a hint of tobacco in this as well. A slight hint, hint of hash, uh, of hash, ash coming out of this as well. You can pick up like an ashness about it. Um, back end, a little bit of toffee. Cinder toffee. Maybe the back end, a bit of fudge, but all in all, it's very easy drinking. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm picking up the coffee. The coffee is predominantly the boss of the show in this beer. Um, definitely, I would say freeze dry coffee, boys and girls. In this, this is really nice. Um, as I said. I haven't had any beers from them before. Um, this is the first one, and I'll be quite happy to drink this all the time. You know, it's uh, very moorish. It's one of the beers you just want to keep going in and keep going in and keep keep drinking. It's uh, hmm. As I keep drinking it, the coffee is really predominantly taking it over for me. Um, you do get the, the coffee bitterness on the back end as well. The chocolate was more in the aroma. The toffee is within the body of the beer for me. The toffee is clinging it all together. On the back end, slight thinness, but it's quite pleasant. It suits the beer. And all in all, boys and girls, my appraisal of this beer is, it's quite good. It's quite good. In fact, would I buy it again? I think I would, yeah, definitely. Um, for me, 
have it with food, steak and ale pie maybe, chips, peas, that type of thing, yeah, it's really nice, so boys and girls, Cigar City Brewing, Maduro, Brown Ale, pick one up, give it a go, light a cigar up, and then just sit back and enjoy on that score. Thank you very much for watching this beer review. You all stars, every one of you. See you on the next one.